Well, hello, here's our third video for this week. And I wanna to talk to you guys about detoxing. So well, this is all prep up to the actual 10 day detoxing smoothie, green smoothies that I do and MetaPower and all this stuff. So we, this is all the, the stuff that I do and why and where I started. And then I went into the 10 day detoxing and all that stuff and I'll tell you exactly how I did that and I'll show you the smoothies and how I did that all next week so but today I want to focus on detoxing and the reason why I want to focus on this is because this is something that is kind of controversial some doctors and some people believe that we don't need help in detoxing our body has a natural detoxing system within it which is true where our body is naturally filtering and constantly cleaning our blood and things like that. And so it's detoxifying our body constantly. The problem is we are bombarded with so many toxins in our world today, our body can't keep up. So we need help and we need to flush things out and we need, you know, support with our bodies to do that. And so I'm going to talk about one way to do this. There are many, many ways, but this is the one way that, that, you know, I love to do and, um, being, you know, a doTERRA user and loving the oils that I do and, and the, the purity of doTERRA itself is the reason why I do it the way I do. doTERRA is always my number one to go to, and there's a reason for it. And it's because it's the purest and I've done the research I've smelled, I've seen, you know, the results and things like that, and nothing can compare. So that's where I'm coming from with this detoxing. So I just want to talk to you a little bit about what detoxing is and give you some information on that and also talk about some oils that you can use for detoxing your body. Now, you can use one or all, or there's other oils that have detoxifying properties that you can use that we're not going to talk about today. So don't think that this is the only oils you can use. It's not. These are the ones that are the most common and the ones that um, we have talked about before in some of the other deep, like a foot detox that Jamel had mentioned. Um, and some of the oils we'll talk about today are from that. So we'll talk about that too. So anyway, today let's focus on this. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about and set this up with is some information. So the one that did the 10 day detox green smoothie um, book, her name is uh, JJ Smith. This is her. This is her companion book that she has and it's called Green Smoothies for Life. So this is a 30 day program that she put out after she did the 10 day detox smoothie diet. And what this is, is a 30 day with food and smoothie diet and clean eating. It's got snacks in here. It's got all kinds of stuff. Very easy to read. It's got pictures. It's got all kinds of stuff in here. Lots of information, things like that. Well, one of the sections she talks about is detoxing and she's big on this is why you don't lose weight because you're full of toxins. And this was my problem. I was full of toxins. Even though I had been doing other things, I'd been using the oils, I had been doing all kinds of things. My body needed more. It just needed more support. So that's what I did. And that's where she's coming from. And that's what helped her create. She's a nutritionist. So she's coming from a scientific standpoint on all this and how food works with your body and all that. So I'm just going to read you just two paragraphs. That's it. Toxins are really hard to avoid, but you can help your body get rid of some of them. Every person on the planet contains residues of toxic chemicals or metals in their tissues. Over 80,000 new chemicals have been introduced since the turn of the 12th or 20th century and once have most have never been tested for safety or for how they interact in the human body. That's kind of scary. Our air is toxic. Our water is polluted. Our food is depleted of the nutrients and packed with poisonous chemicals and hormones. 
Not only that, but our minds and hearts are often getting polluted also, which is why detoxing helps us in our mind, body, and spirit. Toxins create a heavy burden in the body, which causes many of the body systems to malfunction. The buildup of toxins overwhelms the body's vital organs and other systems, creating an array of health problems, including fatigue, memory loss, premature aging, skin eruptions and acne, depression, arthritis, hormone imbalances, chronic fatigue, anxiety, emotional disorders, muscle and joint pain, cancers, heart disease, and much, much more. That's a pretty jam-packed two paragraphs with a lot of information. And it's great information. And her book goes on and on and on. So anyway, detoxing is going to become a very important thing for losing weight. Now, just because you might be a skinny mini and you don't need to lose weight does not mean that you don't need to lose toxins. So I highly recommend even those that are, you know, maybe don't have any weight to lose or whatever, they still do a detoxing program at least twice a year, if not more. My goal is to do it four times a year in different ways and, and things like that, that I rotate between instead of, you know, so I'm not doing the same thing every single time. So anyway, without further ado, I want to talk about some oils. So the first one is cilantro. So cilantro is a really good for heavy metals and things like that. This is a really good one. I don't like the smell of it, so I use it on the bottoms of my feet, which is fine. No big deal. Pedigree is another good detoxifying oil, okay? Copaiba or copaiba, however you want to say it, another great one. Metapower. Now, we, we're going to be talking about the Metapower system. This is the Metapower oil. Just by itself is a great detoxer, especially along with all these other oils I'm talking about black pepper or pink pepper, turmeric, okay, we've heard about turmeric, most of these we've talked about, geranium, you saw this on my last video, so geranium is also really good to make you poop, now Jamel has said that before, don't be afraid, it's good stuff, zindocrine is another good, the blend, they also have this in soft gels, okay, the last one is celery seed, and we have talked about celery seed a lot. Celery seed has a lot of great properties with it. In fact, celery seed has been talked about in even mainstream things, okay? So with all that in mind, with all those, you can do a foot soak with those that Jamel has talked about. You can put them on the bottoms of your feet, put your feet in Epsom salt in a foot soak and soak away. Put them on your feet, go take a bath. I mean, there's so many ways you can do it. It's not even funny. You can simply put it on your feet and go to bed. I mean, it's up to you. Um, I like to use these when I go to bed. So I'll put them on the bottoms of my feet, put socks on. You know, if it's too hot, I don't put socks on. It's okay. But, you know, that's what I do to help detox. Now, do I do it every single day? It depends. If I'm doing a detoxing program where I'm literally trying to detox my body. Yes, I do it every day for a lengthy period of time. And usually I would do this probably with the oils, probably about 10 days to 30 days, depending on what I was doing. If I'm trying to do it, you know, just like a maintenance, I might do it once a month, once a week, you know, depending on what my lifestyle is and how many toxins I'm subjected to. You know, have I, am I using all the doTERRA products? Am I using other products that are not doTERRA that have toxins in them? You know, that could be my cleaning products. That could be whatever. For me, I choose to use all doTERRA as much as I possibly can. And honestly, right now I'm probably about 99.9% .9 there. So I think I'm pretty good with, with that. But the toxins I'm subjected to are usually in my work environment or I go other places or I'm in my car because all that exhaust is coming in, right? So I'm being in, uh, subjected to toxins in so many different ways. It's not even funny, just like you. So is detoxing important? Yes, it's very important. Does it go hand in hand with weight loss? Yes, it does. Is it good for anybody even without weight loss? Yes. Highly recommend it. So, challenge. Let's see if you want to, you know, look at detoxing yourself. 
Is it something you've done in the past? Is it something you thought about? Is it something you're kind of scratching your head about? Maybe I don't need it. Maybe I do. Think about the list I read off. Headaches, fatigue, chronic fatigue, anxiety, emotional issues. Hmm. Think about those, that list. You know, if you have any part of that, you might be suffering from toxic buildup and your body's not going to be able to function properly. So I recommend trying a detox. Pick an oil, pick several oils, do the foot soak, however you want to do it and see what it does for you. Try it for a week. See how you feel. Okay. Be consistent though. All right. And comment below and let me know what you learned from this video you didn't already know. All right. Thanks guys. I will see you Thursday on our call at eight o'clock. Love you. Bye.